Hi guys, so um, don't mind what I look like. Um, I'm actually about to go to sleep pretty soon. Willow is sleeping right now. Um, she's on my bed right now. I'm going to move her to the crib later on. But um, I just wanted to really quickly film her two-month update and um, I'm just kind of going to give you guys a little bit of an update about my postpartum. Um, two months, which there's not too much to update about, but I do want to update you guys a little bit. Um, so I guess I will start off with Willow. She did have her two-month appointment today, which I didn't film any of that. Um, many of you may know that I am taking a little bit of a break from YouTube right now um, because of, you know, my relationship and stuff. So, um, yeah, I am taking a little bit of a break from YouTube. And um, if you didn't know that, I am sorry. If you want to know more about that, you'll have to go to my previous video before this. And um, yes, I do know that I did put my one month update on my second channel, which I'm really not sure what I'm going to do with that channel yet. I kind of want to put like more of my beauty related videos on there and stuff and like hauls and stuff like that. Um, and keep all like the baby stuff on this channel. I'm just not really... Um, sure what I'm going to do with that channel yet, but I have had so many requests to keep my um, updates on this channel and my vlogs and like baby related things just all in one place, which is totally understandable. I get that. I'm going to do what you guys want me to do. Um, so yeah, um, that is what's why I'm filming on this channel, but um, I guess we'll just jump right in and I will tell you guys that Willow is now um, 10 pounds 8 ounces which we found out at her appointment today and um, she is 23 inches long so she did grow a quarter of an inch and um, she grew over um, a pound uh, she was 8 pounds 10 ounces I believe yeah 8 pounds 10 ounces and now she's 10 pounds 8 ounces I think I might be wrong about that um, it's late <laughs> But, um, yes, so that is her quick update for that. Um, a few things that she is now doing is she is cooing, she, um, which is so cute. She is recognizing me, um, and she recognizes my voice and stuff as well. And, um, she is smiling so much more. Um, she smiles at things like, um, like if I'm smiling and talking to her, she smiles at that. Um, she hasn't really, like, been playing with any toys or anything yet, but, um, she does, like, um, stuffed animals. She gets, like, distracted by them and she'll watch them, but she doesn't try grabbing for anything yet or anything like that. But, um, we have been doing some more tummy time. She is lifting her head up pretty good and she is kicking her little feet, getting ready to move around. Um, she hasn't, uh, rolled over yet, but, um... She does roll onto either side when she's on her back. She does roll onto her side. Um, she doesn't roll onto her stomach yet, though, which is good because I'm still not comfortable with her doing that yet, especially because her neck muscles aren't super, super strong. They are pretty strong for her age, I was told by my pediatrician, but, um, yeah, I'm still not comfortable with her doing that yet. Um, so, yeah, she is uh, rolling onto her side more. Um, and she just prefers to be on her side, so I let her do that now, um, which is fine by me. Uh, she is in size 1 diapers, and um, those actually seem like they might be getting a little tight on her, uh, which she, I mean, she's going to be wearing them for a while, I know that, but um, they are starting to get tight, and um, I don't know. Yeah, that's pretty much it for that. She um, can't use Pampers, she can't use Huggies, um, so we've been using her Honest Company diapers, been using all of those up, and after that I'm going to try, I believe it's Loves and um, one other brand, maybe the Babies R Us brand. I'm going to try some of those. I don't mind getting the Honest Company ones. But, um, I do want to try the other kinds of diapers that I did get for my baby shower and hopefully use those up. So, um, she's in size 1 diapers and she needs organic diapers, um, from what I know right now. Um, she is in 0 to 3 month clothing for the most part. She still fits in some of her newborn 
clothing. Um, she can fit in onesies. They are pretty snug, but she can fit in them. Um, she fits in pants. Um, it's just like certain outfits in newborn sizes that she can't fit in. And it's mostly um, Carter's because Carter's shrinks in the wash very easily. So a lot of the Carter stuff um, has kind of shrunk down to almost preemie size from me washing it so much. Um, so she doesn't really fit in that anymore, but she does still fit in newborn. And um, I have noticed that the newborn, like, feety pajamas, she doesn't fit in those anymore. Um, she literally, like, her toes are, like, scrunched up at the bottom. So I don't put her in those anymore. I put her in zero to three month for um, feety pajamas and stuff like that. Um, but yeah so her eyes are still blue they seem to gotten have gotten a little bit lighter actually her hair is lightening up and it is also falling out a little bit on the sides mostly but her hair is kind of falling out um so yeah i mean that's pretty much her updates right there I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I don't think so. If there is, I will put it in the description box if I forgot anything. Um, for my postpartum updates, um, I will say that I haven't had any more pain. I had spotting for a couple of days. It wasn't a period because um, it wasn't heavy enough or anything to be a period. I didn't even really need to put a pad on. It was just kind of like when I wiped, I would have a little bit of spotting. Um, which was weird, but, uh, I did have that for a couple of days, and then I had my postpartum appointment. She did check me, I did vlog that, um, but, uh, I didn't vlog in the appointment. I just, like, kind of told you guys about it afterwards and stuff, but she did check me. Everything is great. Um, I don't have a scar or anything from my episiotomy, which is awesome. Um, and she did give me my birth control options and all that. Um, which I have the depo shot, which I have not taken to get done yet, which I need to do, but, um, I re I'm not in a relationship anymore, so I'm not going to be having sex, obviously. Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't really know if I'm still going to get that or not, but we'll see. Um, I am still breastfeeding. I've been breastfeeding her for two months now, and it's been great. I really do love breastfeeding. I pump every single day. I pump usually in the morning once, and um, depending on when I work, if I work at night, I will pump at night when I get home, and if I work um, in the middle of the day, I will pump um, when I get home in the late like afternoon. So I pump, and I usually get between like... 10 ounces a day maybe I'll get six the first time I pump in the morning I usually get six ounces and then when I pump after work I will get like another three to four ounces so I do pump and I store that so that when I'm at work my mom can give her that um, my mom does watch her while I'm at work um, I'm not working too much but she watches her while I'm there and I'm super grateful to have her um, so yeah, I mean, postpartum, that's pretty much it. I still, I weigh, I weigh 105, I believe. That was what I weighed at my postpartum appointment. So I have lost some weight. Um, I'm pretty much back to my pre-pregnancy weight, which is awesome. Uh, but yeah, so I still have the black line on my stomach. I don't have any stretch marks on my stomach. I never had them um, in my pregnancy or anything and I also still have stretch marks everywhere that I had them before my boobs my butt my thighs um, I have stretch marks all there and um, yeah also my postpartum hair loss has very like it's not really there anymore um, I had it for like a random week where I noticed my hair was falling out quite a bit uh, mostly in the shower I would notice but um, now that is really gone, I haven't had that problem. I haven't really done anything to prevent it, but it kind of just went away on its own. So um, yeah, that is our postpartum and baby two month update. I will show you guys Willow, she is adorable. This is what she looks like. Okay. 
she is sleeping so I'm trying not to wake her up but yeah so she's waking up thank you so much for watching this video I hope that you enjoyed thank you for supporting my channel guys and thank you for being so understanding that I am not vlogging right now but I will be vlogging very soon I really miss it and I do want to come back to YouTube um, just more than what I am now I want to start vlogging again and um, yeah so I'm super excited for that and um, I will be back soon guys I promise thank you for being patient with me thank you for watching this video and um, I'll see you guys in my next video so bye guys